Peter McKinnon to me is the king of B-roll and he recently made a great tutorial on how to create this really cool grunge transition in Premiere Pro. What makes his transition so unique is this damaged old film overlay that he offers for download. And he inspired me to create my own grunge transition. It looks a bit different, it's more of my style, but I figured out how to create this grunge transition without any downloaded footage. And maybe with a little cheat. This way you can design your own film damage with splotches, scratches and light leaks. Let's jump into Premiere Pro. These are two clips from my previous tutorial with my, well, failed attempt to play soccer. And now I'm gonna show you how to add a vintage film transition between them. Make a cut about 2 seconds into the second clip and set the speed of the middle clip to 200%. On this clip we're gonna let the transition happen. Create a black video, put it into the video channel above and trim it to the length of the transition clip. Look for the VR fractal noise effect and apply it to the solid. In the effect controls tab set fractal type to turbulent sharp, crank up the contrast up to the maximum of 400 and decrease the brightness to the minimum of negative 100. Open up transform and decrease scale to 1. Then uncheck auto VR properties and decrease vertical field of view until the distorted spots get out of frame. To reduce the amount of spots open up sub settings and decrease the sub influence to 10. You can also decrease the subscaling to roughen the spots. Go to the beginning of the black video clip and set a random seat keyframe. Then go to the black video's end frame and change the random seat to 5, which creates another keyframe automatically. And when we hit play, we can see these little splotches typical for an old film, caused by dirt and dust. If the splotches are still too much for you, you can apply a brightness and contrast effect and play around with the parameters. And what we're gonna create now are the typical vertical scratches at the bottom. And now, here's my big cheat. I said I won't use any downloaded footage, but we're gonna create our own footage with a hack. I know, nothing beats the scan of a real old grungy film, but I wanted to challenge myself to create it with the given tools. And it's a good example of going the unusual way to get to your desired result. This is another footage which is almost static, but has a subtle movement. And that's the perfect footage for our little hack. Open up the Lumetri scopes and check Waveform YC only. Go to the Lumetri color tab, set saturation to zero and play around with the RGB curves until you get some good looking spikes. Mark the selection, check loop playback and double click on Lumetri scopes to see it full screen. Now press space to play it back. Actually, we now have the basis to create these kind of scratches. How do we get them into our timeline? What many PC users don't know is that Windows has a built-in screen recorder. Just press Windows G to open up the screen recorder. Then press record. For Mac users, please use the screen recorder from the QuickTime player. When screen recording is done, you can open the destination folder and drag the footage into your Premiere Pro project. Select an interesting part and place it above the black video clip. In my case, I have to rotate the footage by 180 degrees. Then apply an ultra key effect to it, take the eyedropper, select the color, in my case green, and set output to alpha channel. Then apply a channel invert effect to the clip, set blend mode to screen in the opacity section and adjust contrast if necessary. To see the result on the footage, select the black video clip and set blend mode to screen in the opacity section. And this is what it looks like. Now let's create the vintage film border. Place another black video clip on top and set scale width to let's say 85%. Then apply a rough edges effect to it. Drag it to the video channel above and place another black video clip below it. Apply a track matte key effect to it, set matte to the video channel above and check reverse. Next select the top black video clip, increase border to 300, add sharpness to 3 and fractal influence to 0. The border looks a bit distorted when we hit play, probably it's because it's too much calculation for the graphics card. That's why I switch off the video channels below and turn on the transparency grid in the settings. 
Click on Export Frame, make sure that Format is set to TIFF and Import into Project is checked and hit OK. Now delete the black videos and replace them by the imported frame. Switch on the channels below and hit Play. Playback performance is better now. To make the footage look vintage, apply a LUT to it, like this one, which is a standard LUT that already comes with Premiere Pro. To add some vertical scratches, move up the film border clip, duplicate the waveform clip to the video channel above, uncheck uniform scale, increase the scale height, decrease the scale width, and adjust the position. Let's prepare the sequence for the next steps. Select these clips, nest them, and name it Transition. Go into the nested sequence and nest these clips again. Then open up the sequence settings of the nested transition and double the vertical size. Duplicate the sequences two times and reposition them like this so it'll look like a film strip. Now let's go back to the main sequence. Set a position keyframe at the beginning of the transition clip, move the playhead forward by two frames, change the vertical position like this, Go further with the playhead by two frames again, change the vertical position to the opposite direction, move on by two frames again and copy-paste the first position keyframe. Let's copy-paste all the keyframes and position them at the end of the clip. Now it looks like a film strip getting out of control. To refine the transition, let's apply additive dissolved transitions at the beginning and at the end and trim them to the duration of three frames. And here is the final result. It plays back almost in real time, without any pre-rendering. In the example I showed in the beginning, I added some colorful light leaks. Instead of the additive dissolve transition, you can also use the VR light leaks transition. That gives you nice colorful transitions. Another technique to create light leaks is to apply a VR fractal noise effect on a black solid with low complexity, higher contrast and higher scale. Then you can animate the evolution, apply a tint effect, set a color like orange and change blend mode to screen. I usually try to avoid using plugins in Premiere Pro and After Effects. Instead, I always look for workarounds like in my Long Shadow 3D text tutorial or in my Travel Title Intro tutorial, which not only gives me more control over the effect, but also trains me to be creative with the given tools. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. See you next time.